Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bowl. The cross country team at Fort Vancouver High School has been on the upswing for the past few years. They have high hopes for this year, including potentially going to state, and they're doing it with a little help from Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. At the first race of the year, the Fort Vancouver girls cross country team is feeling optimistic. I mean, we're, we don't want to say we're guaranteeing state, but it's, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty it's much set. We feel like we're potentially the best team the school's ever had. Hubris? Maybe. But that confidence comes on the heels of a season where Fort qualified for state, even though COVID canceled the state competition. All seven of its top runners from last season returned. Fort also has some new faces this year, a group of students from Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. How did it come to be that you had this many VSA students on your team? So two years ago, one of the kids we've known, Danny Betrell, was in middle school. She's running for McLaughlin. Her mom called me and said, hey, she got bad news. Danny just got into VSAA. She's not going to be able to run with you guys anymore. She's not going to go to Fort for the language program that she was in. And I said, well, it's not actually that bad of news. Uh, you know, VSAA students are allowed to pick the school as long as they're going into their ninth grade year, pick the school that they're going to play sports at. After Danny came another VSAA student, then another and another. It is a little unusual to do sports. There are certainly kids that do do sports, but it's not the majority of the kids. VSAA gets out later than most schools, so those students get a separate practice. But students from both schools run together whenever they can. Yeah, we just all get along really well. We're a really close team, and just practicing through the summer really helped us to, like, almost every day, um, just really helped us to bond as a team and get to know each other really well. Do you feel like you have different perspectives because you go to different kinds of schools? You know, they're the art school, you're the regular school, or do you find once you're out here it all just sort of goes away and you're kind of the same? It's definitely, we all have the same mindset, we have the same goals, and we're just ready to get after it all together. Yeah, we're all the same. It's pretty cool. The coaching staff and athletes are recruiting not only VSAA students, but middle school students to come and run at Fort. I've been doing cross country since I was in the sixth grade, and Frazier kind of got me when I was really young and stupid, so I, you know, kind of got in pretty easy. The appeal is not really winning. One of our covenants is to have the most fun, and so when kids come out and they have a good time, they tell their friends about it, and it just leads to wanting to be a part of it. The team's culture of togetherness comes second nature to the artists from VSAA. I really like being part of a team and like we all work together in orchestra to make a nice, beautiful sound. And so I think it's kind of similar to what we do in cross country as a team to all work together to reach our goals. Yes, it's all about upholding the legacy and um, honoring what came before us. I am extremely proud and very vocal about who I run for and I, I, wear the, I wore this to school today. I was so proud. At Fort, students are learning the age-old lesson. If you want to run fast, run alone. If you want to run far, run together. Just a family, we, that's what we are. It's the only way I can really describe it is you gotta be a part of it to understand. Of course, it would be great if they go to state, but if not, as Coach Frazier says, it's really about who has the most fun. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. I'm Nick Bull.